Mm. Starter. I know one gentleman here has serious acid reflux. Okay. You do. Okay. You have to keep moving. So this. it's very painful, very uncomfortable, and uh, it causes serious problems. It deteriorates the teeth. It can lead to ulcers. It can lead to cancer. It can lead to osteoporosis. It can lead to arthritis. Many, many different uh, complications. And it's mainly due to improper mixing of food. Uh, it's compounded by taking uh, antibiotics. And uh, also eating things that are undigestible. The number one thing that's undigestible is meat, fish, and uh, chicken. All flesh is virtually undigestible. <clears throat> and uh, because of that, uh, people uh, who eat meat, on top of that, drink coffee and tea, and then eat denatured foods, they have serious digestive problems all the time. If on top of that you smoke, uh, it's a formula for death, quick death. Okay, so you're for, it's, uh, today we're going to do the following, we're going to we're going to cook millet, which, as I explained before, is the make it a little lower. The millet is uh, the best, one of the best grains. It's, it's, it's not expensive and extremely nutritious. It has a high protein content for a veg uh, vegetarian source, and uh, it is definitely an herb for a, a, a grain for longevity. And it's, it's uh, one that hasn't been altered too much, like wheat. So. And then uh, we're going to make uh, a vegetable preparation with daikon and uh, red bell peppers and special spices. We're going to make soup vegetable soup, uh, alkaline vegetable soup, and then we're going to make a uh, uh, char, a quick achar with uh, fresh turmeric and ginger. Okay, so I want to break this no, this one. Okay, so but first we're going to talk about uh, how if you if you do have acid reflux and indigestion. Uh, I can I do that inside. Yeah. If you do have acid reflux and indigestion, the quick solution for it. Uh, let's say you have severe acid reflux. That means you, well, you eat something. Your esophagus starts burning, and uh, the uh, immediate way to get relief is this: these two things. So, if you have a serious, serious problem with acid reflux, first you take activated charcoal and bentonite clay capsules. called activated charcoal and bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is highly, uh, uh, I'm sorry, activated charcoal is, is a uh, wood charcoal that has been very finely powdered. And because of the fine grain of powdering, it has a tremendous absorbent quality to it. So it generally, if you take this, and plus it's, it's, uh, 
has bentonite clay added. So both of those things together will absorb acids, impurities, and they'll leach out impurities from the whole body into the intestinal tract. But especially uh, acidity and other, you know, even parasites and things like that. It just leaches, grabs onto it, and then it eliminates. So this is this will give you immediate relief for acid reflux, and this will give you long-term relief. And this is seaweed capsules. The seaweed capsules mineralize the body and uh, reduce alkalinity, uh, acidity, and this goes through the entire blood system. So it'll, it'll actually go on every cell of the body, eventually, if you take enough of it. And uh, it's also good for radiation. People who have radiation burns or things like that. It leaches out radiation on the cellular level. So these two things will heal acid reflux, acidosis, and uh, in general, upset stomach almost immediately. I mean, people take these antacids. Actually, that's just a topical, uh, not a topical, that's just a temporary relief, but it causes problems in the long term. There's no side effects of these products. And uh, everyone should have at least the seaweed capsules in their house for uh, stomach problems or also for losing weight as well as uh, women and men who have uh, arthritis, rheumatism. It can heal that in a month if you take enough capsules. <laughs> so if you have, a, you know, if you have a burning esophagus because of uh, acid, you take two capsules, it'll go away in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. Huh? Should I switch off everything? Why? That should be very low. It is low. Did you turn it up high? Yeah. seaweed cure. This is a more intensive uh, healing uh, seaweed blend. It has full spectrum seaweeds. In other words, there's, there are uh, brown seaweeds, red seaweeds, and blue seaweeds. This has the whole spectrum. There are two different bottles. This is good for people who have Serious, uh, say problems with arthritis, rheumatism, gout, acidity, osteoporosis, I mean, weak bones, weak ligaments, weak uh, cartilage, all those type of uh, prob problems. Broken bones, uh, sore bones. <laughs> so if you take Enough of this. Enough meaning. Uh, also, this is excellent for uh, eczema and psoriasis. And uh, in general, digestive issues. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, we, these three products, and then for even more support, you have green superfood <coughs> capsules, which contains a lot of seaweeds. But in general, for, for uh, serious uh, acid reflux, this and this. For general <coughs> digestive issues, losing weight, and uh, Arthritis and those type of things, pains in the body. This. 
just as a general uh, mineral tonic. The, seaweed, the super green superfood capsules. <coughs> then, whenever a person is having digestive problems, um, taking trifle up along with this is highly suggested because trifle up is an intestinal cleanser, a blood purifier, and a liver purifier. Now, all these things are simply herbs. There are no extracts or medicines or anything like that. So they're completely safe. Actually, if anyone who wants to detox, go through a <coughs> detox process, three full up, along with the seaweed capsules, is an excellent way of detoxing. Then also we have Breast fresh, freshener and herbal digestive. Like, uh, let everyone have a little taste of this. This helps digestion tremendously. So after you eat, or any time of the day, it's a breath freshener as well as a herbal digestive. Breath freshener and herbal digestion. And then in general, just as for digestion, peppermint tea or peppermint oil is excellent. And we'll make some tea now. I'm using a little bit of oil and peppermint. See, it's very refreshing and very stimulating for the digestion. If you don't digest well, you will eventually die because your body will not get what it needs. To, uh, and it also, by not digesting well, uh, usually people gain weight if they have to eat too much. Uh, they can't stop eating. Because again, the body doesn't get what it needs. And uh, by not digesting well, uh, you can get ulcers and eventually stomach cancer. So having good digestion is absolutely essential for maintaining health. Now, we have spoken previously. Also today I'm going to show how to make uh, seaweed how to eat seaweeds. Usually, people don't like to eat seaweeds because they smell like dead fish. But uh, today we're going to learn how to make, uh, or add seaweed to our diet. And uh, it will uh, be pleasant. Okay, so first we made our millet. Now the millet, millet, and I think they grow bajra. Uh, there's different ways of making it. Usually, in native cultures, they make it soupy, very wet. But you can make it like rice also. So, we already cooked it. Let us let me see how it is and bring it in. I'll show you. And I'll explain how to make it. You get another pot. We're going to put some vegetable in it. Yeah. Oops. 
fait des trucs. So if you want to take a look at this. So I put a lot of ink. First a little water. I washed it the millet first, very a lot. Of and uh, this is organic millet. Then uh, I put in twice amount of water as millet. Every, and whenever you cook anything, you have to measure it. So I put four cups of millet, and I put nine cups of water. Put a little bit extra water. Then I cooked it rather quick in the beginning until it came to a boil, and then I reduced the heat. I put in a lot of ghee and some Himalayan salt and basil and uh, cumin. 